Well, I'm very happy to, uh, to be here today at this uh, conference to, where we will discuss uh, the impact of artificial intelligence on the labor market. I think there are a lot of stories about the uh, negative impact that artificial intelligence can have on the labor market and on young people. And I think we will explore that question today and tomorrow. Uh, there are, however, many positive developments. I mean, if you think about uh, the, how technologies can also improve people's work in the office or elsewhere. And don't forget that we have actually labor shortages in Europe, and um, which are growing. There are too few people for the jobs that need to be done. So it is quite logical to assume that artificial intelligence can also replace certain uh, jobs that are currently done by people so that the people can do something else. Uh, obviously, artificial intelligence brings a lot of changes in the world of work. It transforms a lot of jobs and obviously also some jobs will disappear. But I think this is a new dynamic which will come. And uh, we have to be prepared to this new dynamic uh, in order to uh, first to transform this new technology into opportunities, to limit the risks and give also people the means and resources to deal with these new technologies. For data, we in Europe worked a lot on this and especially for the data sets, which are so important for, of course, the new data economy, including new AI applications. We had uh, the DGA, we had the Data Act, we had data spaces. So now we really organize our digital space to make sure that this data will be available for the one who will like to develop new AI applications in many sectors. But then, of course, you need computing power. Computing power means that, of course, you need to train and train and train uh, these new models. And for that, we are the only continent, having decided all together, the 27, to have the largest computing power capacity developed with your HPC, with the largest supercomputer in the world, now being offered for the new developers, startups, small companies, even bigger ones. The one we would like to come in Europe, especially for the startups, you will find the, the computing power that you will need to train and run your models. Well, you see, we launched uh, this year the Year of Skills. And this, uh, this covers a lot of types of skills, but obviously uh, digital skills and also skills related to artificial intelligence uh, are in the forefront of this Year of Skills and all the efforts we want uh, member states, companies, all kinds of stakeholders to reinforce and develop. So I think uh, uh, precisely in order to uh, take out of artificial intelligence the opportunities, uh, the skills revolution is, is key. If we, we are not investing in skills, well, we will not take out the benefits which artificial intelligence can bring. We don't start from scratch either, because there is already a proposal on the table uh, for an AI act an Artificial Intelligence Act, and there is also a proposal specifically for labor issues on the, on the, already on the table of Council and Parliament, but that concerns platform work, and the Platform Work Directive has a chapter which is also about this, about algorithmic management, but it's, it's quite similar, and once that text is, those two texts will have been adopted, I think there's a good basis, and also learning from today, uh, to go forward with the next step uh, with policy proposals that would go a bit further uh, under the next commission. We need then to make sure that we have this intense dialogue with the social environment, with the workers, with the unions, to make sure that first we understand uh, where we go, we understand also where we don't want to go, and we understand also what is needed. And especially here again, with my colleague and friend Nicolas Smith, we spend a lot of time to make sure that we, we will be able to provide what is necessary uh, for the, the workers, for the, uh, for the social economy at large, to make sure that the training will be here, uh, no one will be left behind. Mm -hmm.